Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Play session for Battletech. Oop, wrong button. There we go. So last where we left off, we finished the first official contract as the leader for Marauders. For the Marauders, uh, for Konar's Marauders. There we go. Uh, we still have Decker out of action and we have the financial reports. Uh, well, we made some decent money off the last time. So, first things first, uh, we talked about a whole bunch of different things that are on the, here on the left, a lot about the mechs, a lot about the, how to set them up, not really set them up, how to repair them, stuff like that. We're still trying to figure out really what we're doing in this game. I know a lot about Battletech as a whole, not so much about how this game is run. But no big deal, that is why we play things, and that's why we learn. So, if you haven't had a chance to watch out the other videos, make sure you go hit the back button, look for the first Battletech video that we've had. It's a little lengthy, I, I will apologize, but make sure you definitely watch them in order, especially if you want to learn more about the campaign. With that said, uh, we have a couple of contracts that we need to have done. Actually, first we need to make sure that our our mechs are being repaired. So let's go to the mech bay and go to the bays and see here. The blackjack needs to repair. Will cost 6,000 sea bills and repair in two days. So, and I believe the locust is all set. So I guess we just need to wait two days for everything to be done. So let's go back to the command center. Uh, actually, let's go back to the leopard. And advance it by two days. One and two. There we go. So we do have to advance stuff as necessary. Blackjack is ready to go. So let's go look at the contracts like we said we were going to do last night. And figure out what we want to do. So I have two options available. We have logistical base capture for 215,000 credits or a supply base uh that said, let's go ahead and look at the information for the logistical base capture here on the right hand side. Uh, it's this contract includes travel to Detroit, which is going to take 17 days. Looks like it's going to be tundra biome, which means it's a little cooler. I believe this is the difficulty rating. It's only more half an atlas head. Uh, max pay is 215,000 credits, which is awesome. That's the max pay, by the way. Uh, you can, of course, negotiate to get that. Max salvage looks like it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Two items potentially there. Uh, or two ch priority items. Uh, well, priority items, how it works is that you pick one priority item and it will add random items for you after that. Um, depending on how much salvage you can grab per mission. Max reputation plus eight. Uh, so the basic information is we've been tracking the movement of separate pirate convoys. And that's allowed us to pinpoint the destinations. A hidden, well-defended logistics depot. This facility is a key supplier for pirate forces in this region, and taking it from them will significantly damage their efforts against us. We'd like you to drop and take the depot and hold out against any reinforcements. So the planetary government, whoever's in control of that govern that planet, that's who we'd be doing the mission for. So, with that said, let's look at the supply base. Max pay is 140,000 credits. As max salvage is two priority targets. What's the second number? Second value is the total number of items you'll receive. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Max reputation plus eight it is on the same planet that we're on right now, but it's the desert biome. So, Gorillas on Bellerophon are surprisingly well armed and well supplied, and the local government forces are taking unacceptable losses in recent engagements. We've tracked the weapons back to a hidden supply base operated by Merrick. That base needs to be destroyed. So, we'd be fighting against Merrick in this one. We just did a mission for Merrick, so that said, we'd be fighting them this time. I like the idea of this one, but right now 
we don't really have any loyalties so I think this might be the best choice because we can get more credits and we don't have to spend nearly as much until we need to go to a different system so let's go ahead and negotiate on this one and max credits 140,000 I kinda like uh, let's see here so what this these things these sliders do is you can either pick out less depending on what you have selected here there's four different choices the least payment and max salvage this max salvage means I get two priority items and, and ten other items to go with it this one right here means that I get a max credits of 44,800 and two priority items and eight total items this is the middle the 50 50 where I get 76,800 credits and one priority item and six salvage total then of course and all the way down so this is max amount of credits that's the max amount of salvage we're actually going to go with the max amount of credits on this one so we're going to hit accept and let's set up our ooh, what was that oh it set already played put our stuff down as necessary and let's go ahead and deploy okay so this will be the second mission for Konar's Marauders. Not sure why we have a black screen here. Oh, there we are. Um, we're going to get a max pay of 140,800 credits and only two salvage with no priority salvage, which means I can't pick and choose the items that I item that I would want. But that's not a huge deal right now. I want to make sure that we stay afloat. Stay afloat with the sea bills. That is. Okay, recently found in 3024 by Grayson Carlisle. The Grey Death Legion is composed of former planetary militia from the planet Trell 1. And something's going on here. I have the little scrolly wheel of death, which is usually not a great idea. I also did one of the cardinal sins as a video editor and stuff like that. I accidentally hit the install or ready to install or update button from Windows 10 so hopefully I don't have to uh, hopefully it doesn't force me to reinstall restart okay so until it was right there aren't any new by reinforcements but there are fixed gun emplacements move up neutralize the term the turrets and level that base watch out for the, that garrison commander it's nothing too dangerous but every bit of damage costs Oliviera out so let's see here destroy the smuggler base so let's see here we have four turrets military buildings light large military barrier buildings where's the turrets I don't see turrets there's a turret there I'm guessing there's a turret there I'm guessing where is I think that is the sensors I just actually made one of my mechs move. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out which, where, which, what direction I want to come from. So I need to destroy all of those buildings, but I need to definitely do this strategically. Oop. Um, maybe can I attack from that range? But. Eh, maybe just a frontal assault. You know what? Frontal assault. Here we come. There's the Shadowhawk. Sprint over there. Oop, some random lag there. Let's uh, use the spider and go around. Nope, that's a locust. Sorry. Definitely want to come from this direction over here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's sprint across the road. Oh, enemy contact. Oh, there's a tower turret up there. Turret's up on here. Okay. Oh. 
So that's a light sniper turret. Medusa. Let's see here. Let's reserve, actually reserve you for now. Um, we don't want to have the locust engage right this instant. So let's move to here. Well, let's move to here. Let's see if we can stay out of range of that to keep these turrets at bay. Oop. And let's go ahead and attack this sniper turret. Decent range or decent hits for every, all around. So uh, let's actually turn off the AC2s. We want to conserve as much ammo as possible. And let's engage. Oh, so oh, turret is down, which is awesome. Yeah, you have to pay for ammo too. So ooh, let's try not to use as much ammo as possible. Okay, we have, looks like a tank coming. Not sure. Unknown target. So let's have Glitch come. Well, let's have Behemoth. Actually, let's have Medusa. Let's see if we can figure out what you are. Let's move here with the Locust. Let's see if I can get into sensor range of. Uh, still have no idea what you are. And there's two things over here. So, I guess we're going to brace right there. Well. Let's move my... Let's not get too widespread. So, let's move the Shadowhawk there with Behemoth at the helm. We're going to brace and we're going to move Glitch closer to... Uh, we'll sprint up to the blackjack. There we go. Enemy turn. Looks like we have two. Okay, unknown vehicle. Oh, that's definitely a vehicle now. So those are de both definitely vehicles. Okay. Now we're on to the Locust, so we're going to hit Reserve and wait. Another vehicle coming in, so definitely lots of vehicles. We're going to have the Locust come up through here, so we're going to wait. Let's move here and start engaging. Stay away from that turret for now. Let's see, that's a Galleon, Striker. So the Striker has an SRM-6 and an LRM-10. Uh, the Galleon has medium laser and two small lasers. And th that's another Striker. Not sure what that is. So which one do I have a higher chance to hit? Uh, they all seem about even. 65, 70, 85. 65, 70, 85. So we're going to go with the Galleon for now. Just use medium lasers for right now. Oh. Okay, vehicle destroyed. Awesome. Okay. Let's move glitch in. Right there. And let's see what we have a chance to hit. A uh, good chance to hit with everything there. Not so much on that one. Let's see here. Uh, what's Scorpion have? AC5 and a machine gun. I don't like the AC5, so we're going to eliminate this one. Let's uh, not use the medium laser because that's 65% chance to hit, but the PPC and the LRM should be able to kill it. Technically speaking, the PPC should be able to one-shot it. Yeah, that's why I thought. But the other MS was just extra, just to make sure. Okay, now I should be able to handle the last two vehicles. So let's move here with the Shadowhawk. And should be able to engage that there. Let's not use... Oh... 
let's not use the SRMs. We'll use the medium laser. There we go. We'll go with that one. AC5 missed, but okay. Okay, so three for three for vehicles down. Now we will come from the side with the Locust. I don't think the machine guns can hit from this range, but we will engage anyways. Let's turn the machine guns off. Fire the medium laser. Ooh. Medium laser. Killed that with one shot. That's good to know. Okay, enemy turn. I think those are just the turrets. So, let's move the blackjack. Uh, let's move the locust in and see what we have here. Let's, I think, move right here with the locust and see if I get any more sensor targets. Nothing else. So let's uh, brace with the locust. We're going to use Konar to come right over here. And we're going to hit that turret with medium lasers. And I should feel a little safer in getting with uh, moving the locust and coming in through this direction. Okay, another turret down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No damage yet. If I can get through this without any damage, that would be pretty cool. So let's move Glitch in there. Remove the S those and just start whacking people with the PPC. Let's, uh... I have an 85% chance to hit that with the PPC, so let's go ahead and do that. And Behemoth, let's move you right here. And now I'm going to pepper them with LRMs. I don't think I want to use any more of my AC5, so let's turn that off. So let's hit this military building again. There we go. We're going to move you right there come from the side. I think there's another turret right here. Yep, that's what I thought. But now I should be able to hit this target with... Nope, can't hit that with medium machine gun lasers either, so we're just going to use the medium laser. Okay, that medium military building should be down soon. Let's move you to the blackjack there. And what can I hit with the medium lasers? I don't think I can hit anything with medium lasers. Only the AC2s. Well, we're going to use the AC2s on that. Large military building. Fire. Okay, decent damage there. Glitch, let's move up. Actually, uh, let's move the Shadowhawk up first. Let's see if we can start engaging this sniper tower, oh, light laser tower. So that's two medium lasers, two machine guns. So definitely going to take that out. The AC5 should be able to kill it with one shot, but just to make sure there's the LRM. There we go. Okay, good job. Nice shooting. I guess evasiveness really does matter, so definitely going to keep those mechs moving. Okay. Moving the Vindicator in with our PPC. Let's engage this. Well, wait. Let's engage the military building first. We don't need LRMs. Let's conserve ammo. Here we go. PPC hit. 50 damage. That large military building is now burning nicely. Let's move the locust to point blank range on the medium military building 
and we're going to attack this military building at point blank range. Okay, military building is almost done. M continue moving Konar into the battle. Do, 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 do. Can I hit the medium reinforced building with my lasers yet? Nope. So what about the large military building? Okay, so let's use them, attack the large military building with the medium lasers. Structure is collapsing on large military building. Good, good. Let's continue moving Gulich into the battle. I'm gonna take out this medium military building. I think this is like a command post type thing, but let's engage. Small laser are not gonna hit, so we're gonna use the PPC and the medium laser. Bam. Decent damage on that, about down to half health. And the behemoth, or behemoth, moving you into range. I should be able to hit ev with everything now. I'm gonna not engage with my SRMs or my AC5. Select the medium military building and now we'll turn the LRMs off because it's only 45% chance. There we go. Decent damage on the medium military building. Medusa, it is your turn. Select the medium military building, turn off the machine guns, no need to f use those. How did you miss at point blank range a building? Ugh, Medusa, I would say that you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, but clearly that's true. Okay, well, Konar, we're going to just slowly march you in. I'm going to engage the military building there with four medium lasers. And that should collapse now. Another building down. Awesome. And glitch. Uh, we'll move you there. Stay out of the range of that turret for now. And still can't hit with the S S a small laser. Blech. So we're just going to hit with the PPC and the medium laser yet again. Love how that just started falling apart when you hit it. That big piece of metal. And glitch. Let's move you right here. And Glitch should be able to kill this thing. There we go. Building is collapsing though, so that's three buildings done. One more to go. I want to see if uh, Medusa, can you please finish this building off? Are you able to with a medium laser? I mean, you have an 80% chance to hit, so... There we go. That building is now collapsing too. Okay. Get to the evac zone with four unit with all four units. Okay, so the evac zone is over there. So we're going to completely ignore the turret up there. Maybe I shouldn't, because it might be faster just to engage it. I hear ya. Okay. There's the Vindicator. There's the Blackjack. And the locust will be able to catch up, no problem. And it's my turn again. 
Medusa. We're going to sprint you out of the combat zone. Look how fast that locust goes. Pretty cool. Hey, look, someone else was playing Battletech. Okay. Now, Shadowhawk, we're going to sprint, keep sprinting. I hope there's no more targets. Well, I kind of wish there's more targets. But I kind of wish there's no more targets because it make it makes it a lot simpler in the long run. It doesn't make for great videos in the long run, but gameplay-wise, it helps me out considerably. Because we're getting almost 150,000 credits for this job for little to no cost on our on our parts. Okay. And it's our turn yet again. See? The locust caught up to them. So evac zone's up there, so it's a straight shot with pretty much all my mechs. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, behemoth. Let's get you up there. Loc Locust is going to get up here next turn, I believe. And we're still out of range of that turret. I wonder why it didn't tell me to blow up all the turrets. Ooh. Vindicator is not that big. Or not that fast. Or I think we're going. I think it's taking into account the difference in terrain because we're on a road right here. And now we're not. We're kind of are on a road, so, but still. Okay. We'll sprint the black jack to there. Still no targets. Besides that one tower there. And now, Medusa. Show us, give us, show us your speed. There you go. What's that? I'll end this next turn. I just, apparently, the locust was going so fast, he destroyed the bridge. Okay. Oh, uh, just outside the range of the evac zone. Now, this is pretty s slow going right now, but... I made the tactical choice not to engage that turret. I want to see if I can salvage it. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for salvage this time, but it's all randomized anyways because I don't pick the salvage for this time because I didn't choose that option. Okay, so Blackjack's turn's done, and now we are back to the Locust. Locust, can you sprint all the way to the evac zone? No, you cannot. You can get up to the Shadowhawk, and the Shadowhawk is going to be the first one to get into the evac zone. Still no contacts. Hmm. Okay. We'll deal with it. Okay, so. Shadowhawk, there you go. Thank you, Behemoth, for your service. Glitch, it's your turn. You can catch up to the Locust this turn. And the Blackjack will be about right here because the Blackjack is not very fast. There we go. Oop, I'm inside a rock. I'm inside a rock. Oh, not. Where am I? Oh, I'm on the other side of a mountain. That's why I couldn't do it. Okay. There's the Locust. Thank you very much, Medusa, for your service. Good job. You even got a couple of uh, kills there, which is awesome. Okay, Glitch. Go ahead and get into the at the combat zone. Blackjack, you're going to take at least, I think you're going to take two more turns. We'll see. Oh, 
Okay, so Blackjack can evacuate the area in this turn too. Great job, Mech Warriors, and great job, Battle Mechs. And there is the Legion. I can't remember what it is. Okay. Mission successful. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Success, destroy Merit Garrison, success. Uh, that didn't do anything for my reputation for Merrick, which is interesting. Got 176,000 credits for payout, which is awesome. Even better. No damage, a uh, good amount of experience all around. I wonder how to make sure I have more ammo. Salvage assigned, small laser, and SRM, an SRM-6. Ooh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And let's look at the other contracts that we just get. Actually, I want to see if I can figure out how to pay for ammo. Because ammo is usually a good thing. I have AC-2s, I have AC-5s, LRMs, and SRMs, I believe. Oh, contact, the Rimward Frontier. Let's go ahead and watch this. Darius Olivier. Okay, all right, everybody, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts, and I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Sumire says. Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be the member of the Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up, and she wants us for it. Us, specifically. She called the commander out by name. Okay. Canopian. Okay. The Magistry of the Canopus is a large periphery state located in Rimward and anti spin word of Terra, just beyond the Free Worlds League. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like the Matriarchal Society, which is not a bad thing. Matriarch being uh, the female gender and whatnot okay how would she even know about us in the first place it's not like we're we're drowning in publicity out here uh yeah i feel like this is a trap i really do oh we're gonna go with that choice good question yang says and i'm betting we don't have an answer you're certain this client isn't a really a bounty hunter because i can list off about five different banks that 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 would all love to repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, Yang. Heck no, I'm not certain, but for what it's worth, I confirm she's rich. She reached out to us with a priority HPG match message, and those things ain't cheap. Three different options, rich is good, I like rich. We'll meet with this new mystery client, that's all we'll do until we've heard her pitch. That sounds like a step in the right direction, at least. At least. I see the smuggler in me wants to say rich is good, but the logistics, logical person and the tactician of me says, let's meet this client, but that's all we do until we do. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. That's what my gut is saying. That's fair, Commander. We need to follow up on this, but that doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is a meeting. What's the worst that can happen? Well, I can think of plenty of things that could happen with it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, there you go, Yang. Our new client fences up at the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vasts of space. Thanks for the delightful image, Liang. Look, my Zarin, I'll admit this is sketchy as heck, but it's also the best lead we are likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon, the client will be waiting. Uh, we're on Bellerophon so we don't need to plot any courses. Our Mercury has picked up a fair amount of combat experience over the last few days. Uh, a few drops headed to the barracks and review their dossier, dossiers and direct their training. And don't forget, you can check on the state of your fa our finances from the terminal in the captain's quarters. If you ever want to change our mercenary company's name or symbol, you can do that from there too. 
Okay, so let's look at the quickly look at the contracts. I want to see if there's other contracts out here. So this is a benefactor. This one is still on a different one. So this one has a higher. I'm probably going to go with this one anyways, just to see what's going on. But we won't worry about that till next one. Let's see if. Let's talk to Yang real quick. Uh. Okay, so let's talk to Yang. Actually, we'll do this tomorrow. But I want to see if I can purchase items. Storage. Components. Generic AC ammo. Uh, um, okay. Finances. Hiring hall store. Okay. Let's go to the store. Let's go to equipment. Uh, weapons. AC-10 ammo. Uh, I don't think we have any AC-10s. So I know we have AC-2 ammo. And we're up to four months still. Um, so let's go ahead and buy one of those. I know that we need SRM, SRM-2 ammo. Do we even have an SRM2? No, oh, hold on. We don't. Let's not worry about the machine gun ammo for now. But let's buy LRM ammo. Wait. Oh, that's the SRM2, not S. Okay, so let's buy the SRM ammo. And then let's buy the LRM ammo. And also the AC-5 ammo. That's going to be a little pricier. But there we go. Now that I know how to purchase stuff and whatnot, let's go back to the main screen here. Anyways, thank you for joining me this evening. Tomorrow we'll pick up on this priority, this priority mission right here and talk to this mysterious benefactor. Only a reward of 33,000 credits, but we'll see how that goes. Could be a good bout of salvage in that one. Not sure. But that said, we'll do this tomorrow evening. Thank you for joining me tonight. And as always, we'll catch you next time.